Okay, so in this video, we're playing Summer Vacation at Kalishima House. Oh, this is a visual novel game. It's really good. Not gonna lie. I was kind of taken back by how the graphics look, but it's actually a really good game. Like 10 out of 10 storyline. All right, let's start the game. New game. Which language do you want? English. Do you wish to proceed to the tutorial? No. Let me sleep a little more. Come on, wake up. What are you talking about? We're almost there. What? I slowly open my eyes, rub my bleary eyes, and look around. After a few seconds, I realized the situation I was in. I was on a bus. Apparently, I was napping. I like the whole bus scene. Look kinda dope. We soon, are, we soon arrive at Hiyoshino. Hiyoshino, the final destination. When getting off the bus, please leave your seat after it stops. Ah, uh, bus door open. Ah. I like it a lot though. I can tell some effort really went into this. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Bro, that was sliding. <laughs> okay, okay. When I got off the bus, I took out a piece of map from my backpack. My mom gave me this map a few days ago. We're on our way to my mother's younger brother's house. Yeah, it's my uncle's house. Get to. Actually, my sister and I have heard of my uncle, but never met him. This is because my uncle had been a psychiatrist in the US. Mom says that he returned to Japan last year and started working at a university hospital. Since then, since then mom said she'd been in touch with him by phone and other means, but they hadn't been able to see each other. On this summer vacation, my mom my sister and I had the opportunity to visit my uncle's house. But mom, who is a single mother and works hard for us, had to go on a sudden business trip abroad and could have come. Mom, never mind. I guess this is my sister. Ani-chan, how much further do we have to walk? It's really hot. You've only been off the bus a little while, right? Goodness, you're gonna have to hang on a little bit longer. Huh, I should have worn more sunscreen if I'd known. I was gonna be walking so much. This is my little sister, Kaide. She's a freshman at the same private high school in Tokyo as me. Earnest by nature, trusted, trusted by those around her, and has many friends. Not a badly looking face. No, it's rather a good one, but. Hey. Why do you keep staring at me? Gross. Lately, I wonder if it's because she's in a rebellious phase. Her attitude has become a little bit more aggressive. Hey, what a harsh word to use against your brother. It's because you're staring at me with a gross look on your face, isn't it? Damn, how creepy am I? Oh, honey-chan, can I come by there? I turned forward to follow her gaze, and there I saw a small store. Apparently, it's a candy shop. Yeah, let's get ice cream or something, as it's hot. Once we got inside, we felt a little bit cold, perhaps due to the air conditioning. Just as it looked from the outside, the interior had the same old-fashioned atmosphere. Hello, is anyone here? Is anyone there? It's open for businesses, right? Well, someone will show up soon. Choose your ice cream. Okay. While she was picking out her ice cream, I looked around some shelves. Hmm. I brought some of the items, but there was nothing that I wanted to buy. Anichan, I've decided. Okay, let's buy. Um, excuse me? 
I said load it done before. Come on, nobody's there? I'll take it for free. <laughs> As I didn't know what to do, I looked at the TV next to me. The suspect shot a Shrila Tori to the woman's car with a knife in his hand and fled, and the police have issued a nationwide APB for him. He's approximately six feet tall. Um, thank you for waiting. 100 yen for the bill. Look at this creepy bitch. <laughs> okay. Oh, what are you doing here? So creepy, man. I'm visiting the narrative in here. What's your next thing? I see. You better not go out at night. Wait, what? Take care. Oh, I know this is a crazy bitch. <laughs> oh, horrific. What the hell? That lady is too scary. <laughs> Kinda. Thank you for getting me ice cream on each one. Yup. Hey, did you see the news a while ago? Yeah, a nationwide manhunt. And he's on the run with a knife. That's really scary. He might be fleeing around here. Hey, come on. You timid, don't worry. I'll protect you in the case something happens. Two concerns I had. One thing is that my phone doesn't have any reception here. Then what's he doing out there? It's convenient that my phone barely works because of the lack of signal. Of course, it's boring to have no internet connection. What matters is that I'd be in trouble if something should happen because I have no way to contact someone right away. Then leave. That's a cue to leave. And the, other, and, and the other concern is whether or not I can get along with my uncle. Mom told me he's kind. However, he seems to be an eccentric with, a, with the temperament of a prodigy and so gloomy that he lives alone deep in the mountains. She said we might have a hard time getting to know each other. Damn. Hey, what do you think our uncle is like? Well, he's a psychiatrist who lives alone. Deep in the mountains here, right? Maybe he's a very old-fashioned woodsman, like a guardian of the forest. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Uh, it's a car. After walking for a while, I heard a sound of a car behind me. Oh, it's already right, up. Oh, it's police. I turned around to see a cop getting out of his patrol car. Konnichiwa. Hello, what are you two doing out here? In this remote area. Hello, I came to visit a relative. Oh, I see. Uh, well, I just thought it was unusual to see people passing through here. So I talked to you guys. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I pass by here sometimes, but both seldom see pestrans. Both seldom? Okay. Oh dear. We've come to a hell of a countryside. Anyway, I can give you a ride to your relative's house if you want. Shall I? Hell no, man. I'm good. Really? Thanks, but no need. Yes, that's right, boy. Well, well, well. Don't be so modest. Well, only a couple of minutes walk, so it's okay. Yeah, I'm out of there, boy. We'll go on foot. Bruh. Look at how this bitch staring at us. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well then, take care. Ah, uh, that police man kinda sus. Saucy. Not long after that, we arrived in front of my uncle's house. My uncle's house stood isolated on the edge of a pond. It's a, it's a surprisingly splendid modern house. Judging by the house, it doesn't seem like he's that old-fashioned person. My sister said he was. <laughs> okay, this is a password panel thing. I stood in front of the door and they rang the intercom. I heard somebody say, yes. And after a moment, the door opened. I'm waiting for you guys. Surprisingly, a young man with excellent figure came out of the door. Hello, um, is Uncle Kilishima here? Ha <laughs> ha, I'm Kilishima. It's the first time for you guys to meet me, right? Come on now.
Okay, the screen to skip. Okay, I don't want to see any credits. When I entered the foyer, I first saw a mask on the wall in front of me. The mask was carved out of wood with no coloring, but it had a mysterious charm. As we proceeded through the entranceway, I looked down by the mask. We found corridors extending to the left and to the right. My uncle led us down a hallway to the right. Mm -hmm. Further down from there was a staircase. We went up the steps. Second floor. Well, here's the room. Wow, it's like an inn. I've been thinking since I entered this mansion. What? Mansion that this is no longer a house, but a luxury lodge. He was a successful doctor in the US, so he must be rich. Okay, I'll wait for you on the first floor. When you're ready, come down and have a tea with me. Okay. Saying this, he left the room. Seemed kinda cool. I've, I've never met him before, but he's so handsome. He's really my type. That's it. Uncle Kirishima was totally different from what I had expected, but he's like, in a good way of course. I agree. Uncle is excellent. Let's put our stuff down and get downstairs. Then my sister led me to the first floor with the light. Calm down. I went downstairs and found my uncle in the hallway. He led us into the living room. It must be hot outside. I'll get you I'll get you something cold. Just sit there. Well, do you prefer cider or tea or some carbonated beverages? I'll have barley tea. What flavor of what flavor of carbonated beverage do you have? Orange and peach. Well, Orange or peach? I'm more like an orange kind of guy. Okay. My uncle went to the fridge and we sat down in chairs. Soon he came with a tray with glasses and sponge cake on it. Sponge cake? Well, here's a little something. I hope you like it. He set the glasses down and placed a Nagasaki sponge cake next to them. Um, no, mmm, yummy. My sister, like a starving kitten, immediately gorged herself on the sponge cake. I took a sip of soda, looking at her sadness. <coughs> Maybe because I was very thirsty, and because the cups looked expensive, the sparkling juice tasted even better than usual. <laughs> you know that kind of feel? I'm sorry for you guys, I've come all the way to my house. I'm sorry for you guys, I've come all the way to my house. It was a hard trip, wasn't it? That's right, we got up early in the morning and took the train and bus to get here. I've never taken a bus or anything like that, so so how hard it was. She said it excitedly with her mouth full of sponge cake. She talked as if she had checked out the service schedule of trains and buses, but I did but I did make the itinerary. Okay. Hey, come on. I got you through it, right? You just followed me. <laughs> what? I just followed. I did wake you up in the bus. Oh, you got a point, you got a point. <laughs> great job, you too. You've come this far with such a great cooperation. Kinda. Oops, more drink. Would you like another cup of quality? My uncle smiled and pointed to my sister's cup uh, that had got empty. Yes, please. I looked at my sister on the side and found that she had completely fallen in love with him. Hey, that's your uncle. What's going on? It may seem obvious that a good looking man who is attentive attracts girls. How about you? He asked me at the same time. I nodded and I was about to say, can I have one of the glass of juice? But before I had the chance to do so, he took the empty glass and I had just finished drinking out of. At home, not only do I have to pour it myself, but my sister will even make me do it make me to do it for her. I thought at the same time. I thought at the time that it might not be, be a bad idea to spend the rest of my summer vacation here. Uh, can I? Well, I think it's time for me to get ready for dinner. Seem like a cool kind of guy. I can help you if you like, sir. Sir? She finally started to address him as sir, exactly. This guy is completely fascinated with him. Shit. Thanks for your thoughtfulness, but I can do it on my own. You two go out and play until 6. 
dinner time. Okay. Yes. I honestly didn't want to help, so I felt a little relieved. I was already cooking. Uh, before you go, I want you to promise me two things. One, when playing outside, don't go far. Never go down the mountain. Wild boars and such come out there, so it's dangerous. Stay close to the house. Got ya. Two, when playing at home, don't go downstairs into the rooms on the first floor without permission. Got ya, got ya. They are my work rooms. When you play indoors, please stay on the second floor as much as possible. Got ya, homie. There are, these are the two things you must follow. Yes, sir. Alright, good kids, go play. Go play? Like, how old am I? Then <laughs> we went out and played. How old am I, bro? Why am I going outside and playing? Turning left out, turning left out of the house. I found a long path. Oh, look, lavenders. There we saw a lot of lavenders blooming all over a flower bed like a carpet. I wonder if my uncle likes lavenders. But that's why it's out there. Anichan, do you know the language of lavender flowers? My sister, a flower geek, took the opportunity and asked me a question. <laughs> mm, touch me not or something? It's of, it's of burdock. How did you know that? Eh? Lavender has two flower languages. One is silence. It comes from the tranquilizing effects of lavender. And the other is distrust. This is said to be a reference to lavender's mysterious and strong fragrance. Well, silence and distrust. The ominous words doesn't match these beautiful flowers. Really? I like them because they're bewitching. Okay, okay. As we proceed further into the woods, the sun shone through the treetops at an angle making us making us squint. We came out to play, but we just wandered around in the woods where we don't usually walk without doing anything special. Hey look, Kaide. Here's a Shinto shrine. Must be a spiritual power spot. Let's go. Shinto shrine. It was quite small, but the uh, but the atmosphere was solemn and very mysterious. We purified our hand with holy fountain and then went inside. Going further in, there was a sacred house. A small pond surrounded the shrine made the picturesque precincts more attractive. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. The sight was so mysterious and empowering that we wanted to stay there forever, but we briefly prayed and left there. Soon we passed through the woods and arrived at a nearby park. Park. Pretty nice park. That's it. Isn't this whole area really nice? No, I feel like living here. And uh, I'm not living in the woods. Sure, this place this is rich in nature and clean air makes me feel at home. I also appreciate, but... But you can't have any tapiocas or cheese corn dogs here. Come on, you think I'm a pig or something? You just mention only food. <laughs> well, it's pretty painful, isn't it? Not being able to eat what you like can be quite stressful. And you? You have to go to karaoke at least once a week or you'll get sick, right? You won't find it here. Well, I agree with you that it's painful for me to live here. Uh, I wish someone would soon develop... Uh, any weird way? Why was it blank out? And I can't... Then I can't come and play here easily. Well, I understand. But if we had that, we wouldn't need transportation anymore. As I said this, I suddenly turned my eyes toward the woods. A faint but strange smell comes out of nowhere. What's this smell? Kaide, you stay here. What? Wait, Onichan. Am I going into the woods? I think it's around here. After a while, I found out where the smell came from and stopped. Uh, a headless bird. The smell was the, that of a pigeon. To my horror, the pigeon was necklace. Its head had been chopped off. Attacked by other animals? Well, even if they did, 
exactly would have just cut off the head. Exactly. Feeling weird. I quickly left the place so that my sister wouldn't see that. Strange. What's the matter, Ani chan? No, nothing. Anyway, let's get back home. Let's get back to the home. Yeah, I'd like to. Okay, I'm out of here. So we both turned back and retraced our steps the way we come. Of course. I know we back home we saw uncle coming towards us. Apparently he came for us. When he noticed us he waved us over and approached. And approached. What's up? This one kinda sauce though. Hey uncle, you must be tired from making dinner. So you don't have to bother coming for us. Well I prepared dinner in advance. So it was really early. Besides, I'm your guardian now. I'll at least get you home. Okay. Anyway, what do you think? It's pretty nice around here, isn't it? Great, I wanna live here. Kaide said with a bright smile. I see you think Kaide. Would you like to live here with me? Uh oh come on. How can you say such a thing so casually? Uh well well. There are no sweets or tapioca here that I like. My sister's ears blushed red and she mumbled. Hey, that's your uncle. Careful. It seems that this guy doesn't think it's not so bad. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Something that didn't comes to my mind. Okay, well then. You mean you prepare some sweets other than tapioca? I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Of course I did. Yeah, yeah. We went back to the house with high hopes for dinner. Hopes. After passing through the front gate, we were led to the first floor bathroom to wash our hands and gargle. Well, go wash your hands and gargle in the bathroom there. I'll wait for you in the living room. So we washed our hands and went to the living room. Ooh, oh, this looking good. Oh, wow, it looks delicious. My sister's eyes sparkled as she looked at the food. Yeah, it makes me drool. I was about to sit down. Uh... The intercom around. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Can you answer it? Uh, I wasn't seated yet, so I decided to do it. Now this... Who could that be? Oh, this fucking sus policeman. Konbanwa. Oh, this is your relative's house. Uh, you are the policeman we met this noon. Good evening. Konbanwa. Do you have the relative here? Uh, yes, I do. But he's busy with cooking right now, so I'll answer for him. Is something wrong? Look at this fucker. No, I just wanted to ask if you noticed anything unusual as I finished my patrol. Oh, this guy looks like a murderer. For a moment, the dead pigeon saw in the... I saw in the park, crossed through my mind. But I guess this this isn't worth telling him. Okay, yeah. No, nothing special. Yeah, it's just a bird. I don't think I would tell anyone that. Well, thank you for your co cooperation. Don't know. The eyes of this policeman seem kind of murderish. <laughs> thank you for answering for me. So, who was it? It was a cop. Oh, this bro shook. Cop? What did he said? What did he said? He asked me if I noticed anything unusual. Anything else? That's all he asked. That's strange. That's really all he asked? Hmm. Well, never mind. Let's have dinner before the food gets cold. I don't sure who the killer is. It could be my uncle or the policeman. Here you go. I'm sorry, I couldn't serve much for you. What? No, 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 no. I'm afraid I'm gonna get fat while I'm here. <laughs> I'm glad you said that way. Oh, I'll have wine. I wish. And which do you want? Brandy tea, cider, or carbonated beverages? Oh, I have an orange soda then. Hmm. I will have cider this time. Okay. 
after a while he came with three glasses on a tray. Okay, okay, take your glasses then. Cheers to a fun night. Kampai. Okay. At the dinner, we started at 6 pm. He had a stylish Italian based dish and it was very tasty. I can tell. But the first piece of meat I picked up may have been lamb, the smell of which was unacceptable to me. Unacceptable? My sister kept saying delicious every time she put the meat in her mouth. Uncle, perhaps because he had been drinking, started calling us bar names and was even more talkative than he had been in the evening. Okay. Um, it's delicious. Kaide, you've been saying nothing but delicious since a while ago. Your dishes are really delicious, sir. Have you been cooking for a long time? Well, yes. I used to be a cook in Italy for about three years. Wow, that's so cool. Do you have a girlfriend or something? Sir? Well, I hardly had a chance to date. I was about to say, even this impressive man doesn't have no such chance. Hmm. You must have very high expectations on women, sir. <laughs> I have no idea. As you're such a handsome and great cook, I'm sure you'll get a girlfriend in no time. <laughs> That's very kind of you to say. You can have my meat. <laughs> what? You can have my meat? Okay. The meat my uncle gave me was the same meat as the as the one I just smelled and felt bad about. I muttered in my mind, Ugh, I don't want it. But of course I accepted it without showing any such emotion on my face. Akisa, do you have a girlfriend or something? No. Well. Actually, he's recently broken up with his girlfriend. Of course, Kaide. Spill the beans. She said with a smirk on her face. She's talking about her other people's misfortunes with such delight. <laughs> oh, she's ruthless. Why? Akisa is pretty cold. Well, my brother was super earnest, contrary to his appearance. He got dumped while he was concentrating on his studies for the entrance exam. Oh, yeah, he's definitely earnest. But that's great. Studies for the entrance exam. Are you a high school senior? No? No, I'm a junior in high school. Wow, you're so determined in your junior year of high school. I'm sure you'll be successful. Successful. Well, where are you going to apply? Kyokoko University. Wow, that's great. I can see why you study so hard. Good luck with your studies. If you get tired of studying, you can always come visit me. Nah, man. I'm not coming all the way out here to study with you. Mm -mm. He slightly smiled as he said that. Nah, bruh. Thank you very much. I'll come visit you again after the exams are over. Great. Akisa is a good boy despite appearance. Various people use that expression, despite appearance, but it's really unnecessary. For real. By, by the way, let me switch topics a bit. Music stop. Did you see anyone when you were out? Uh, he suddenly toned down his voice, and I felt as if the friendly atmosphere had been strained for a moment. I didn't see anyone. Um, is something wrong? Well, there's a rumor around here. Rumor? Yes, there is. You know, this neighborhood is a place with a shady story. Shady? It's true? I winced. Yeah, it's, it's got a peculiar story. We don't see a lot of people around here. It's really quiet and kind of scary, you know? Actually, when I was planning to have this house built, I asked the landowner, why don't people live in this area? And he said, actually, there is a shrine nearby that is famous for being cursed. A shrine nearby? By day, it is a beautiful place with a sacred atmosphere and clean air. But at night, it's said to be occasionally twisted by people who want to curse someone. 
Whom has it that it's a cursed strada? Someone who su oh? Someone who supposedly witnessed the ritual at the shrine was killed there. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Uncle, please don't say that. Is it true? <laughs> it's just a rumor. I've lived here for a long time and I've never seen it. If you haven't seen anyone, that's fine. I'm sorry I scared you. Of course. My heart is racing right now. Jeez. My sister put her hand up on her chest and her voice got strained. I found myself in, in a cold sweat. I regretted that I had come to a terrible place, but I guess it's all just a rumor. After all. Sorry, sorry. And don't worry. And don't worry, I'm with you. Hmm. No, I'll bring you that thing you've been waiting for. My uncle chuckled, stood up and headed for the refrigerator. Oh, cake. I made a cake. I thought you might like it for dessert. Hell yeah. My uncle pulled out a cake from the fridge and showed it to us. My sister looked at the cake with a twinkle in her eye. And I've got some coffee ready for you. Coffee? More, more drinking? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm allergic to coffee. Oh, well, that's no problem. What about you, Akese? You drink coffee, right? I'm allergic to... Oh, we're all allergic. Okay. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, no more drinking, man. Cut out the drinking. Okay, well, let's have some cake. My uncle looked disappointed for a short while, but then he smiled a big smile. Music stop. After dinner, we all finished clearing up the dishes, and my sister left the living room, saying she was going to take a bath. I decided to relax in the living room while she took a bath. I picked up the TV remote and con I I picked up the TV remote control and tried switch the and tried to switch channels as I liked. Oh fuck! I can't read. Camille <laughs> Shilatoli is third one is suspected of escaping from the Kyushu Special Medical Camp and killing a woman in her twenties on the street by cutting her with a knife. Sheila Tony took the woman's car with a knife and fled. The police have issued a nationwide manhunt for Sheila Tony. I understand look at the policeman though. Sheila Tony is approximately 6 feet tall and was wearing a black top and bottom jersey and black sneakers. Even who, anyone who saw the suspect is asked to contact the police station here. That did us look like the policeman. Feeling bored, I turned off the TV. Ah, it's a dangerous world, isn't it? After a while, my uncle came from the kitchen. You said you want to go to Kyokuko University. What do you want to be in the future? I haven't really thought about my future yet, but I'm interested in starting a business. Mm, good choice. Wow, entrepreneurship. That's a, that's a pretty cool dream. You are a psychiatrist, right, uncle? What do you talk about with your patients? Well, I asked him some usual questions. What kind of things do you mean by usual questions? For example, how many symbols do you have? Or something about their families? Wow, that's really normal. But why do you ask that? To make the, to make the person I'm talking to feel at ease. Makes sense. By starting with casual questions in a gentle and friendly manner, you gradually create a mood in which it is easy to talk. I see, I see. Makes sense. Oh, by the way. She's back. Uncle, the bath was nice and hot. Thank you, sir. Oh, why don't you take a bath too, honey chan? What? You know I'm a morning bath person, right? Do I smell bad? Stinky. <laughs> no way. It's hurtful to be told so explicitly. Hey, she been truthful. Just kidding. Well, uh, isn't it refreshing? A nighttime bath once in a while? Mmm. Nighttime bath. I could get strong with the bed out there. I guess so. I'm a morning person too, so it's. So if it's possible, I'd like you to take a bath now. Oh shit, I have to choose. Okay, I'll do so. You had a long journey today. I'm tired. We just want to rest in our room. Hmm. Hmm. Should I just. 
go take a bath or head to my room. Uh, I guess. Uh, I guess I take a bath. I didn't take a bath. I decided to take a bath. Like, what could go wrong? What could go wrong, right? The bath was in the corner to the right of the living room. When I opened the door of the bathroom, while steam flowed out, flowed out and moistened my body. Oh shit, that shit's so good. I slowly soaked my body in the bathtub. Oh, it's refreshing. Perhaps because I was tired from my long trip, the water felt softer than usual. After a while, I got out of the bathtub and washed my hair with shampoo. Then I closed my eyes and rinsed the lather from my hair in the shower. There's no way I die here, right? When I finish washing all, of, when I finish washing all, can't read. When I finish washing off all the leather, I open my eyes. What? I'm sure I did open my eyes. Huh? But my vision is still black, still as black as it was when I closed my eyes. What? I'm fucking dead. Is that blackout? As my vision gradually got used to the darkness, I could barely see the mirror in front of me. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. So more light shone through the window. I'm fucking dead. Wow. I uh, forgot to save the game. Shit. Uh, there's a room around here. I'm here. I fucking saved it here. Okay, let's follow this. Let's forward this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the guy on the TV. Can I pass for this shit? Can I? Oh, I fucked it. No. Yeah, pass right now. Water, 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 water. Okay. We've had a long journey. Yeah, I just want to rest. Well, who could kill me in the bathroom, though? I see. Okay, okay. Well, take a good rest. Good night. Good night. The person who killed me in the bathroom is probably my uncle. My uncle fucking killed me. Oni chan, we had a lot of fun today. Yeah, we did. As I said, that I reflected on today from the very beginning. It was quite challenging since we had to take the trains and buses in the morning. But once over, it was a fun and valuable experience that we don't usually have. It was a very satisfying day. But there's something that's been bugging me. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but something just doesn't feel right. With that in mind, I opened my bag to take out my textbook. Hey, Kaide, did you open my bag? What? I didn't touch it. Hmm, I see. I thought the orientation of the reference book in my bag seemed to have changed since I put it in there, but maybe I just imagined it. No. When we went out to play, Uncle searched our bags. Uncle is the killer. Oh yes, honey chan. There's a part of the math revision notes I don't understand. Can you help me? Yeah, sure. Where is it? When I looked at my sister's notebook, he's coming up the stairs. He's fucking coming to kill us. I heard footsteps on the stairs. The sound then stops in front of the room and the sliding door opened. Want more drinks? You two have been studying great. Here, have some tropical juice. Take a 
take a break and have a drink. Man, that's too much drinking now. My uncle smiles and holds out a glass in front of us. Tropical juice was a brightly coloured as the cocking one sea. Wow, it looks so delicious. I'll drink it after I finish the problem I'm solving now. I said so, but neither my sister nor I like the tropical juice, so I knew we would drink it in any case. Well, keep it up. My uncle smiled and left the room. After helping her with her homework, I leaned against the windowsill and I looked up, out over the yard. I heard footsteps coming from downstairs. It sounded like my uncle had been pouring around the first floor for a while. I wondered what he was so busy about. Honey Chan. Yeah, what? What's wrong? Nothing, nothing at all. Honey Chan, you've been frowning since a minute ago. Why don't you look in the mirror? It's like you're trying to solve a math problem. I put my hand to my face in a panic, but I realized I'd been teased by Kaide when I saw her smirking. Of course. So what happened? So what happened? Did something really happen? No, nothing happened. Okay, well, I hope not. By the way, Onichan, would you like to go around the second floor? It might be fun, but I say no. Oh, come on. Let's go around. No way, that's bothersome. Nah, follow me? No, 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 no. That face not working. What? I need to go to the restroom, so follow me? No way, bruh. Have to follow her. I can't leave my sister behind like that. What do you do? What are you, a three-year-old? Because, because uncle told us a scary story. Jesus Christ. And don't talk to him with sir. Are you some kind of daughter of a good family? I say sir because he's such a nice gentleman. Oh, for fuck's sake. I wish Onichan would learn from his gentlemanly behavior. Uh, I kind of hate that. If I behaved like that all the time, I'd lose my mind. Besides, if I behaved like uncle all the time, I'm sure you say that's gross, right? Exactly. Oh, that's definitely true. <laughs> we were talking about such a trivial thing. We arrived at the restroom in no time. Anisha, please wait here. Well, I should wait here for my cute little sister. Oh, that's kind of weird, bro. Oh, I got it. I should wait here for my cute little sister. Thanks, Onichan. Eh? I didn't create that one. What? Why did I still say that? She went into the bathroom, saying over and over again. Wait here, for sure. Yeah, I got you, man. She's already in high school, but she's still... I got you, homie. Eh. While I was thinking about this, I heard footsteps coming from the stairs. Look at this motherfucker. I stayed at, <laughs> I stayed at the side of stairs where the sun was coming from and saw my uncle. I guess he noticed me looking at him and his eyes met mine. Oh no. Akise. Akise. What are you doing now? He has to be the killer. I'm so sure of it, bro. This guy is a killer. Kade is in the bathroom. I followed her and wait. And I'm waiting for her. She's scared because Uncle told her a scary story. Oh no, I'm sorry about that. No, 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 don't worry about it. She's just a coward, that's all. By the way, what brings you upstairs this time? Well, nothing much. Just checking on it, guys. Oh, I see. Yeah, it won't kill us, that's why. Oh, by the way, did you drink your uncle's special tropical juice? Were you asking that? Ah, yes, we did. It was so good. Uh, stop the cap. I, did, I, had it, I hadn't even had a sip yet, but I knew he'd be happy if I said so. That's why I lied. Oh, that's good. Now go to bed. You have much to do tomorrow. As if I survive tonight. He said that and left for the stairs. That guy kind of sus, bro. I saw the screen of my phone. The time was 9.35 p.m. There are a few rooms on the second floor. 
at first I said no, but it might not be a bad idea to go around the, f the floor for a change. Okay. As I was thinking about this, my sister came out of the bathroom and started to speak. I changed my mind. Let's take a walk around here. No, man. No walking around. What's, what's on your mind? Suddenly you want to walk around the second floor. Well, you know what? It's such a big house. It would be a shame not to take a look around. Oh, I see. Okay. Ah, oh, this guy wants to die. Oh, to your bed, man. We decide to go around the second floor, clockwise from the bathroom. Right next to the bathroom was a shower room. Okay. It looked old, like it wasn't in use anymore. It was kind of. It looked so scary that it seemed to be haunted. <laughs> Shit. Then we left the shower room and turned the doorknob to enter the room at the end of the hall. But it would open. I had no choice but to go to the balcony next to it. Hold on, let me save this shit. Let me save this shit. Okay. I had no choice but to go to the balcony next to it. When you open the slide window, there there were oh there were three pairs of slippers on the floor. You put them on and stepped onto the balcony. Okay. The forest was the forest was quiet at night, illuminated by the pale moonlight dancing in the breeze. Even though it was summer, the atmosphere was cool to the touch of the ear. Was quite quiet and still. Okay. Oh honey chan, look, here's a staircase. Oh, in case we need to like do the running. I looked in the direction she pointed and there was an emergency stairway. Nice. In case we need to like run for our fucking lives. Apparently these stairs led down to the back of the house. I looked toward the side and saw a door. The room and door of which I could open from the hallway a few minutes ago. I turned the door knob and entered. Ah oh, exploring too much. Once inside I found myself in the kitchen. There was a portable stove, stainless steel tongs, and a cat stove. Nice. Well, it looks like we can enjoy barbecue on the balcony. After checking everything out, we left the balcony. There was only one more room left to explore on, this, on the second floor. I turned the door knob and went inside. Uh, once I got inside, I found myself in a storage room. Books, boxes and all sorts of things were placed there. Wow, it looks like there might be some treasures in this room. <laughs> Nah, nothing like that. You're a dreamer or something. Come on, take a look. Okay, okay. I followed her and checked out the room. Hmm. Is that a eye? Okay. A quick look revealed that most of the books were about psychiatry, but there were also some novels mixed in some places. Hmm. It's Uncle's diary. I put the piece of paper tucked into the diary on the desk. Okay. August 11, the day after tomorrow, my nephew and niece will come to visit me. Since I've been in the US all these years, I've never met them, but now it's finally time for me to see them. Hey, <sighs> they are my sister's children. I'm sure they'll be very cute. Can't wait to meet them. Yes. Okay, that's kind of weird. When I see them, I'll treat them to a delicious feast and take them to a nearby pond and then kill them. That's his plan. I know it. I was surprised that my uncle was looking forward to meeting us so much. My mother had told me he was kind. He was a kind man. And I can see how he's kind from his writings. Okay. Next, I picked up a book. This is a book written by uncle. I was so curious that I opened the page. Okay, okay. I asked a few questions during a psychiatry consultation. And some patients may wonder why I asked them those, quest those questions. One famous question is about their family, such as, how many siblings do you have? These questions may seem trivial at first glance, but they have a certain purpose. The purpose of this question is to confirm that the patient has someone to rely on in the event that his or her condition worsens. Oh, that shit makes sense. It makes a big difference whether the patient lives alone or has a family. 
member living with him or her or a neighbor who can be relied on when the illness worsens. Okay, makes sense. If there's a family member who live shit, okay. If there's a family member living with the patient, the patient can select both patient treatments. And there's no family member living with the patient, the hospitalization may be recommended. Well, makes sense. When we talked about this topic, the living room, I did hear that he would ask questions about family members. I wonder why he didn't tell me the reason to do so at all, even though he had such a profound one. I guess he didn't want to make it a long story. Yeah, yeah, fuck. Ani chan. Hey, you scared me. Why you call me so suddenly? I wonder if this is a treasure map. Jesus Christ. <laughs> of course not. Well, let's just take a look. Alright. What do we have here? I unfolded the paper and found it to be a floor pack. It showed the limit of the house. Uh, this is... I guess we can't find a treasure map this, that easily. Mm. Well, it might be. What? That's... Look at the drawing. See anything odd? Where? Mm, no name. I pointed my finger at the strange part. Here it is. There's a room. I mean, isn't there another room? Oh, yes. Bookshelves are here. It seems like there used to be a room here. Though I didn't see anything that looks like a room. You mean, that room might be still there. And the bookcase should be a hidden door. Could be a hidden door. Let's check it out. See if it's a treasure map. I left the storage room with her. Second floor, our room. Now we're exploring too much. Or are we not sleeping? Uh, when we got to our room, we decided to check the bookshelf. If there was an original, if there are, <laughs> if there were, or, if there was originally a space beyond as shown in the first, in the floor plan. And if it is still there, this bookcase is a hidden door. I carefully examined the bookshelf. I checked each shelf one by one. And when I touched the bottom most shelf, it removed a book. To remove a book, I felt, I felt a strange sensation. I can't get it off. I tried to pull them out, but only the book on the bottom shelf would not even budge, as if the books were solidly attached to the shelves. Thinking it might work, I pushed the books on the bottom shelf with my hand. Then I felt a single, then I felt a slight push. Well, I understood completely. I stood up and pushed the book on the bottom most shelf with my toe. Then I heard a click. I pushed the bookshelf to the side with both hands. And reveal a secret door. Okay. It's really here, a hidden room. It seems so, and by the looks of it, it hasn't been opened since long ago. Should we tell uncle? Nah, I probably opened the hidden room. It's better not to tell him. Makes sense. Since we've opened it up, let's go inside. I went in with a flashlight on my phone. It was dusty and dirty inside. The back of the room was surrounded by large shelves, and there was a desk and a chair placed desert desertedly okay let me just save this shit let me just save this shit the back of the room was okay sure there are any. i approached the desk to the back of the room and shined the light on it there were several books stacked on the desk i took one of them out and opened it 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 looked like an album I was curious about pictures of my uncle in the past, so I quickly opened the album. Uh, there were pictures of many doctors smiling in the album. Apparently, this was an album from when my uncle was affiliated with some hospital. When I had finished looking through the album, I felt something strange. There wasn't a single picture of my uncle in the album. There were always dark haired men with glasses in every photo. But their faces looked nothing like my uncle's. Mm. They look like completely different people. Is this somebody else's album? Could be. 
or is it about continuing pictures of people my uncle admired? Just as I keep pictures of people I like. Hmm, could be. I closed the book and looked behind the cover. There, my uncle's name was clearly written. What's this? This album? Hmm, I felt weird and put the album down on my desk. And as I reached into the stack of books to look at the others, I noticed a card next to the books. I picked it up and checked it out. The card sent a shiver down my spine, as if I had been hit by ice. Holy shit, what did he see? The identification card in the card holder. It was unmistakably a card of the man I had seen in the album earlier. The name written on the card was Tadashi Kirishima. That's my uncle's name. What the? Did my uncle have plastic surgery? Oh shit, there's nothing like him. No, his physique and even his atmosphere were totally different. Oh fuck, it's an imposter. That's unreasonable. Then I researched with the same name. Oh, no way. Oh my god, a terrible thought is slowly rising in my head. Well, he's not my uncle. This man on this card must be my real uncle. That would explain all the strange things that had been happening. At first I had one concern. I wonder if I would be able to get along with my uncle. According to my mother, he's a kind man, an eccentric genius, and a gloomy character who lives alone in the mountains. But unlike what I had heard, he was rather a cheerful man. Also, he never called us by name for a while after he met us. Then all of a sudden, around dinner time, he started calling us by name. Hmm. At first we thought it was the alcohol making him friendly, but it wasn't. He didn't know our names. So he must have come into our room while we were out and went through our box to find out our names. Oh, that's fucking true. Okay, so in that story at dinner, did you see anyone when you were out? At that point, why did he ask if he had seen anyone? Those were not words he uttered out of concern for us by any means. It was because he wanted to, to find out if there were any witnesses. The sunglasses he was wearing outside were to hide his face in case he met someone other than us. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Can you answer it? I think he let me go answer a cop's question because he didn't want to go out there himself. Cop? What did he said? I can understand now why he was so upset with the cops. Should we call Jules? And coffee. We didn't drink them, but my uncle. He asked us if we drank the juice. And looked disappointed when we refused the coffee. Maybe they were sleeping pills in those two drinks. I've seen on TV news that you should be careful with blue drinks because when you dissolve sleeping pills in water, it turns blue. Oh shit, friend. Tropical juice is on coffee. The first one is blue, and the second one can camouflage the blue discoloration. So we wouldn't even notice if sleeping pills were served. Oh shit. But that's the bullet. This didn't make sense for my uncle's suspicious behavior. When my heart was beating fast, with the fear that was slowly rising to my head. Of course. I'm gonna save this shit. Oh, I can't save it? Bruh. I heard a faint sound coming from the staircase. Let me just save, let me just save this real quick. Let me save this real quick. I think I can save it on that. Alright. I hardly closed the hidden door of the bookcase. You trap yourself inside? What's, the, what's with you all of a sudden, Nani? Okay, trust me now. And don't make a sound. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Where did you two go? Oh, shit, this is so fucked. As we held our breath, we heard the sliding door of the room close. It seemed he had left the room. 
She looked at me with a frown, not understanding the situation. So I put my index finger to my lips, took out my phone and typed on my notepad. Then I showed her the screen of my phone, the ID card I had just found. At first she had looked like she was about to complain to me, but then her face gradually turned pale. I then lightly explained to her that I, what I thought were the puzzling points about my uncle and she finally seemed to understand what was going on. Oh shit. Well then, who is he? That man? I don't know. Let's just think about getting out of this house for now. <laughs> and then, we're out of Severance. There's no one around here, right? Then why did they come out here, man? We're dead. Calm down. We aren't dead. There was an emergency phone in the tunnel coming here. Okay, we could use that to call 911. Yeah, that's some good shit. Oh, that's a good idea. The truth is, I'd rather hide in this room all the time too. Can't do that though. But that's not gonna get us anywhere. You can't call anyone. There's no signal out here. No cell service. No help. But then why are you guys out there? Like, that don't make any sense. I have to make my own way. I turned on the flashlight on my phone again and lit up the room like, once more. I noticed a lid under the floor at the back of the room. Mm, okay. I went closer to check it out and found a ladder leading down. I'm pretty sure it's above the living room. Yes, there must be a fireplace right under here. So this is a hidden passageway. Nice. Okay, let's go down. Okay. I took her downstairs from the fireplace ladder. I poked my head halfway out of the fireplace to check the room, but nobody was there. Unless he knows the flat fireplace is connected to the hidden room, he won't come in this room for a while. I cautiously opened the living room door and peeked down the hallway. It was dark, too dark. I can't see anything. I used a flashlight on my phone to illuminate the area. No one is around. Now it's the time to go. I went up the hallway, took my sister and headed for the front door. Oh, that's a bad idea, bruh. Damn it. Why won't it open? I could open it until dinner. Oh, the balcony, bruh. Need to get to the balcony. I wonder if it, wonder if he did something to it while we were upstairs. And the shoes that are supposed to be at the front door are gone. Of course. Apparently he doesn't want us to leave. We turned on our heels and went into the hallway again. When we got to the hallway, there was a split on either side. Oh no. Now which way to go? Of course, they made me choose. Uh, oh, I must make sure I save it here. Alright. Now, left, right, any mini money. Nah, right is always right. Right is always right. Let's follow my god. It's a theory that humans naturally move in a counterclockwise direction. This kind of human cognition and behavior is called the law of left turns. <laughs> in psychological research. Okay. Okay. I had read in a book that this is also utilized in product placement in convenience stores. Then it would be natural to walk counterclockwise from the right this time. I decided I decided to explore the first floor in a counterclockwise direction with my sister. According to the floor plan, the room adjacent to the stairs was my uncle's bedroom. I put my hand on the doorknob. There's no way I die. I took my sister and went into the room. Oh, this is fucked. The room was very cold, probably due to over air conditioning. And there was a strange smell. Oh shit. What's the smell? I turned on the flashlight on my phone and walked further. What the? What? What the hell is that? Oh no. At the back of the room, I found a dead body covered in blood. The body had a deep cut on his neck and the red juice was oozing from the wound like a tomato cut section. This man. 
it's imp it's Im <laughs> it's impossible to mistake him for someone else. This is the person we saw in the photograph just a few minutes ago. Huh? Tadashi Kirishima. No, Tadashi Kirishima. He was our uncle. Oh my God. That guy must have killed our uncle. I fight desperately against the desire to turn on my heel and run away right now. I repeatedly told myself to calm down, but the beating of my heart would not subside. It was then. Oh no. Don't tell me what the fuck is going on. I fucking knew it, dog. I fucking knew it, dog. No, bruh. Where? Where am I? Come on, bruh. I landed on my back on the bed, but my body hasn't moved at all since a while ago. No. It's not that my body is not moving. It's that my arms and legs are bound to the bed, and I can't move. No, yeah. dog. Hey. Hey. Good morning. What the hell are you doing? You. Who are you? I heard someone coming from downstairs. I came to check on you, but... That was careless of you. Making someone hanging around the closest area to the staircase. Now, remember that promise you made me before? You guys went out? No. Unauthorized entry into any of the rooms on the first floor, alright? I have to punish the bad kids who break the promise, you know? Come on, bear. <laughs> I wonder what kind of art will fascinate me when I cut off your head. Come on, bear. Don't let me die like this. Order. Come on. Ah, what the fuck? It's better pull up the fucking chainsaw. I'm fucking dead. I'm dead. Oh my god. So going right is just death. Wow. Going right is just just death. Alright. Then we go to the left. I took my sister and we decided to go around the first floor. Clockwise from the left. First, the toilet and bathing area right in front of us. There was no likely exit here. Next, we entered the tea room. It was a tasteful Japanese room with a with a warm and nostalg nostalgic appearance. Can't read, bro. <laughs> if it weren't under such a situation, I'd love to take a rest in this gorgeous room. I checked the window, but it was the same type of window. That doesn't open like the one in the living room. Anichan, let's get away from the window as soon as possible, shall we? That's the same type of non-opening one as the one in the living room. Yeah, so let's use that to break it. Break what? My sister said and pointed, po and pointed at an to an iron jar by her side. That's it. If it won't open, why don't we just break it? Nah, that's a bad idea. Why didn't I think of such an obvious thing? No. Was it that I was so friend that I couldn't think properly? Because it's a bad idea. But wait. Can the window really be broken? Exactly. <laughs> By the looks of it, the glasses of the windows in this house are quite thick. Tempered glass, I guess. This is a luxury house deep in the mountains. I'm sure the glass is made up. May have something strong enough to withstand the impact of wild boars and birds. If so, it would not be would not only be a waste of time, but it also let him know where we are exactly. But if we can break the glass, we can get out of this house, at least. After that, if we run away as fast as we can, we can manage to escape, right? Well I don't break the window. Breaking the window is a bad idea. I gave up on the window and decided to look for another way out. Oh shit. He's coming. I heard a sound coming from the stairs. Well. We hid in the closet. We rushed into the next room. We head before the staircase to see him. Stairs to see him. Uh, 
I think I think heading toward the stairs is him. We just got that like I'm so sure. <laughs> I think we just see him and then just gonna fucking kill us. Hiding in the closet. I think we just run. And course to our next room. I took my sister and sent to the next room. What the fuck is this place? Medical information management room. As soon as we entered the room, I was surprised to see a different atmosphere from the previous rooms. But my surprise was short lived as I soon realized that there was no room for such a surprise. He will be here soon. What? Okay, 3D and stuff. Now, where should I hide? I'll get to choose. Alright. Hiding under the desk is a bad idea. Because he might just come to the door and go towards the desk. And then Sir Ass is like, mm -mm. behind the door is also bad because. He could enter in and lock by the freaking door and Sarah ass there like <laughs> what this kind of do like he has no real reason to walk around here like if he stands here I don't think he can really see us if he really looks to that corner I took her with me and talked to myself into the corner of a chef trying not to make a sound there were other places to hide under the desk, but I figured a well lit, easy to hide place would be the first place he'd look. Exactly. I leaned my back against the wall, holding my breath. Was this really the right place to hide? It should be. Could there have been a better place to hide? The anxiety grew and grew, and I began to feel as if I had made the wrong choice to the extent where I found it hard to breathe. I was, I was contemplating moving here. But then the door to the room opened and I held my breath. Yeah, he's in here. Imagine him just looking around the corner on us. I tried to suppress my racing heart and quietly peeked into the room. We had to do it. He wandered around and checked under the desk. I fucking knew it. I knew that if I <laughs> if I hid there, it would be the end of everything. I knew it, I knew it. A moment later, I heard the door close. He's gone. Duh. <laughs> I picked up from the cabinet and put my face back in a hurry. He had it left. Fuck, I knew it, bro. I knew Heidi behind the door, bro. Oh my god. Big brain. He had just opened and closed the door to his study and was standing there with his back to the door, staring into the room. If I'd been careless, if I'd been, if I'd taken myself a few more inches off the shelf, I would have been discovered instantly. After a while, Mm -mm. After a while, I heard the door close again. Okay, gone, gone. Oh, we're free now. When I checked, he was no longer there. This time, he must have really left. I fearfully lifted my back off the wall and stepped out of the hollow. At the same time, I broke out in a cold sweat. I better not leave this room for the, for the time being. I should explore this place while I still can. Yeah, find a weapon or something. But I can't stay here for too long. Okay, yeah. If he comes into this room one more time, he'll find us. Yeah, for sure, for sure. We shall research. I'll get to choose again. Hmm. Uh. Let's check out the, uh. No, no, no. I should save it here. Uh, let's save it here. Okay, should I check out the whiteboard? Alright. I decided, check, I decided to check the whiteboard. What is this? Uh. Algebra? iPhone 2, iPhone numbers and letters on it. JPX uh, plus 2, okay. What's this? Is this. Don't tell me I have to like crack. Is this a code or something I have to crack? Please tell me it's a code I have to crack. Where shall we search? Uh, door now? I decided to check the door. Its glass was beautiful lined with green laser beams. Laser beams? It looked more dangerous than any door I've ever seen. Bruh. What? What's this door? Well, I... We should doorknob? No, nah, bruh. Those laser beam may trigger an alarm or something. Where shall we search? Let's check decks next. Okay. I decided to check the computer. Alright. The computer is locked. I looked at the computer screen and it says 
the door in front of me is locked. Oh, I see. So I have to enter a passcode to open the door. Would you like to start entering the passcode? Ah. Uh -huh. Like, I freaking knew it. I knew I had to, like, like try to enter a passcode. Oh my god, bro. I can't bother with, like, the whole passcode shit, bro. Um. I can't crack this. Okay, you know what? Alright. Let's just open the door. I don't care. Let's just see what happens. Oh, if we're doing a wait, on each end. Are you gonna open it? I'm getting a bad vibe from this door. I nah, we should have drawn up. Kaida. Indeed, it seems dangerous. But at the end of a dangerous road, something new is awaiting for us. Is this a new landscape? Or is it an insight? Or is it a new insight or discovery? I don't know what it is. But at least something new is waiting for us. That's why I think the dangerous parts are worth trying. <laughs> this guy, bro. Kaide must have wondered, like, the fuck? <laughs> she looked at me with a very annoyed look on her face. Oh well, have it your way. Uh, something bad gonna happen. Thanks for your permission, my sister. I don't mind a quick, quick decision. So let's open the door. I reach for the door now. Of course. I got shock. <laughs> uh, as soon as I touch the door now, tremendous electric shock ran through my body. Nature. Yeah. I got knocked the fuck out. Oh shit, I'm losing consciousness. I should have done more research before deciding. Damn, I don't want to die like this. <laughs> Kaide, please forgive your brother for dying before you. I don't think you will though. That is so lame, bro. That is so lame, bro. What if I decide to break the window then? Bro. I picked up the jar and shook it vigorous against the glass. Of course. I'm dead. I believe I would do this shit. I know I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm dead. <laughs> what? I thought the glass would break. Do I really have to crack the code? Oh my god, bro. I can't crack this squad. I can't crack this squad. Freak it. I'll type in anything. Okay. I'll type in saucy. Baka. Enter. I don't care. Let's see for like typing a bunch of random shit. Uh, Mr. Joe Joe. Enter. Alright. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Yes, sir. YOLO. Okay. Unauthorized access detected. 
Security lock is now in, in effect. Oh no. The security lock has been activated. I wonder what's on the other side of that door. I gave up and left the room. I left the room? I'm fucking dead. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. I knew it. <laughs> oh, that's the bold ball, bro. There he is. He opened his eyes wide and looked down at me. Bro, just run. What are you waiting on? A moment later, I took my sister and made a mad dash for the living room. He must not know everything about this house. When he came to the room earlier, he didn't open the locked door. It's not that he didn't, but that he couldn't. So I assumed that he was unaware of the hidden room on the second floor, where there was no sign of anyone and anyone entering until we went in. When we got to the living room, I quickly put my sister in the fireplace and got her up the ladder. As soon as she climbed up, I ran up the ladder too. I got away. That's crazy. Second floor, an unprecedented sense of tension pressed down on my chest. But I already know the way out. The balcony. Took my sister and ran toward the balcony. Let's fucking go. Get out of there, boy. Oh. Kaide, why are you dropping in a time like this? Oh my god, Kaide, are you okay? I'm leaving your ass on the floor. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> what I was doing? I was in a hurry and ran at, ran at my own pace. And she sprained her like, Oh, she's uh, this girl. What are you doing? Oh, Anchan, let's hide in the hidden room. Let's just get up and run. They'll never find us. No, he saw us heading for the living room. It's only a matter of time before he looks in the fireplace and finds the hidden passage. But I... She was sh shaking with fear. Bitch, just get up and run, man. Oh my god, what, what's happening? I put my hand on her shoulder and slowly spoke word by word. Hey, Kaide, listen to me. Remember what I said to you during the day? I'll protect you. That was the lie. I'm serious. I promise I'll protect you. I'll protect you no matter what happens. What's all this talking, bro? So trust me and follow me. The guy is supposed to be right behind you right now. We're dead. I think Chan, like we're so dead now. Come on. What are you saying? You're being so cool. <laughs> what, what, what is going on? Why can't I be cool in these situations? Like, why are we stopping having this long ass conversation? Oh my god. I swear if I die here. Okay, let's go. No, okay, I'm live. I'm living. I stopped when I was about to head for the fireplace for escape. Liquid was soaking under my feet. Liquid? And this pungent smell. If you've ever been in a car, you smelled it before. And that's not all. There has been disgusting sound of leaking gas coming from the kitchen next door since a while ago. Don't tell me what I think this guy doing. When I looked at the floor at the kitchen door, gasoline and spread all the way to the door and there were wet sheets of newspaper in the door crevices. Bruh, he's burning the house down. I felt a siren echo in my heart and thought I have to get out of here as soon as possible. Just deep bruh. Yeah. Of course. Jeez. Of course. He's standing right there. Hey guys. Oh shit. He beats us to it. Exactly. Oh, we're dead now. Oh. I finally found you, you bad boys. I, I, I thought my sister was a female. What's going on? <laughs> Who the hell are you? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with us. I've already got a material. I said, and I pulled my uncle's ID card out of my pocket. Where did you get that? Huh? I knew you were on to me. But I didn't know you even had it with you. Oh fuck, we're dead. But it's okay, I'm done with this house and you guys. Oh no. If we let that thing drop, yeah, it's a wrap, bro. I'm getting, I'm getting burned alive. This whole house is gonna burn down. Yeah, GG's. Yeah. I 
I'm sucking in his shit. <laughs> I suck him right in the face. No. It only took a second. I took a chance and hit the guy in front of me. With all, with all my might, I successfully struck him, causing the lighter he was holding to fall towards the wrong way. I went blank but shot it to my back. Hi there, fucking run. I saw my sister behind me rush to the stairs. Then I swung my fist as hard as I could at the guy. <coughs> However, my punch with all my might was easily dodged and I was kicked in the stomach by the man's long legs, long legs and knocked down to the floor right there. No way. The man revealed his hidden blade and comes at me with a devilish look on his face. I'm dead. Oh wait. Why squeezing this? While squeezing the kicked stomach, I looked next to him for a moment and saw something like a crowbar. Oh shit, fighting it. I, I took it and swung it as hard as I could back at the knife that was coming at me. <laughs> the crowbar hit the man's hand and it bounced off the knife in the nick of time. I saw the look of surprise on his face and thought I had a good chance so I tackled him again at full force. But this time I, I was hit with a knee kick that knocked me to the floor. Come on man. There's no way dying like this. Where I fell down, I noticed a lighter. I rushed to get up to throw it off the balcony, but the man in front of me picked it up first. Oh we're dead. Oh no. Oh no. I'm dead. The gasoline ignites instantly and lit the fuse. My skin is crawling. My brain screamed that I shouldn't be here. Jesus Christ. I tried to head for the fire escape, but the man threw his legs up in the air to stop me. I caught the kick with both arms, saying, but the force of the kick shook my brain so much that I was about to lose consciousness. Come on, bear. Fight. Damn, he's strong. I wonder if Kaede got away safely. I took a few steps, but I readied my crowbar and prepared myself. Sorry, Kaede. I'm done here. Oh yeah, I know I'm dead. Oh, I stayed on fight. That bitch, what is he doing here? What's wrong? Oh, that's so fucked, bro. Damn. I ran. I ran anyway. Have to call for help. Money chan. Okay, so I guess we're playing as a girl now. And so I ran through the woods down through the park and eventually arrived at the tunnel. Let me just save it here. The tunnel which had penetrated a uh, fault line in the mountain was gaping open and was emitting a deep damp ear. Let me just save it. Let me just save it. I'm doing so well. It was dark and eerie, as if something might come out. But I had no chance but to continue on. I made up my mind and walked step by step. Here it is, an emergency phone. This is traffic control. How can I help you? My voice was shaky and I had trouble speaking. But I managed to tell them what had happened. What? That the man I thought was my uncle was not my uncle. And that in addition he attacked us. And that the man and my brother were involved in the explosion. I understood the situation. I'll connect you to the police. Please wait. Yeah. This, yes. This is the police. Was it an incident or an accident? I had a conversation with the police and as before... I told them what had happened. Understood. I've dispatched the police and fire department to your location. They should be there in about 30 minutes. Please stay at Kaideyama Park, which is the closest park to you. Okay, we get to the park. I put down the phone and I started running again. Run, girl, run. Suddenly, my brother's face came into my mind and my eyes were burning. Ah, uh, shit. He killed himself. Park. The branches of the trees cast shadows, making the dark park even more frightening. Like Alice hides somewhere. 
My heart ached and I sat down on a nearby bench with my back slumped against it. The more I leaned on my back, the more fatigue slowly seeps out of my body. Onichan, he confronted that devilish man for me. Every time I recall Onichan confronted the man on the balcony, my heart tightens with sadness. Deep despair almost darkens my mind and I shake my head hurriedly. No, I mustn't despair here. Anichan has done his best for me. Sooner or later, the police will come. I must do my best too. Exactly. The moment I made up my mind and I was about to sit up from the bench, I heard a thunderous, uninterrupted noise coming from over the park. Hmm? I looked towards the noise and saw a car in the pitch black darkness shining a strong light on the bushes and trees. Then it stopped. Oh no. I lean my back again. I lean my back against the shade of a tree and look towards the car. And from the depths of the darkness, I hear, I hear faint footsteps and a voice. I had never heard this man's voice before. From here, I can't see the man's face. I gasp for ear as the man gets closer and closer to me. Is there? Sh you know. This is the police, we've got a 911 call over here, you know? Is there, should, should there be like a blue and red light? That car... There's no way that guy's still alive. Is anyone there? Please give an option. Oh yes. I decided to step up and be no, 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 no. I decided to stay here, exactly. The police said on the phone that it would take a half an hour to arrive. How could they arrive so quickly? Exactly. It feels like only about 10 minutes have passed since I called the police. Am I wrong? Exactly. No, they couldn't have arrived that quickly. I held my raging heart and held my breath. Eventually, the man's voice and footsteps faded away and I quietly peeked up from behind a tree. It seemed the man had left. Nah, he's still there. Let's get out of here while I still can. I thought. And as I stepped into the tree, <laughs> my shoes stomped on a twig, and the sound echoed through the silent forest. Jesus Christ. Then that's when it happened. A small sound that I would normally have missed out of nowhere, I caught a soft sound of footsteps. I listened carefully. It was coming from a direction the man had just walked. The footsteps were getting faster and faster. And were approaching me. I looked behind. Deep, just deep. I couldn't see him in the darkness, but I could certainly sense his presence. He had obviously heard me. I can't see him. Me. And was coming toward me. My instinct telling me that I should run. Run! Run and I ran as fast as I could. Where do I run away to? Time limit 10 seconds or wait? Let me save it. Let me save it here. Okay. Time 10 seconds. The public restroom. That's a dead end. Hot. The shrine. The crash shrine. How oh, hot is it? Fuck it. I run to the nearest shed. I the door. The room. The room returned a sudden silence. As if it didn't want to, to be pried open. The musty smell of mold and rust were all over the place, irritating my nose. I sat quietly at a large wooden box. I held my breath for a while. When I saw the man did not come, I knew I had done the right thing by hiding here. Hold on. Let me just save it in case. Yeah. As the pound of my heart subsided somewhat, I finally felt a tense feeling release. Now he knows. At that moment, I caught a glimpse of a figure in the shadow in the window. My heart started beating again. I could clearly hear the thumping. Oh no, no way. I grabbed a rusty iron pipe, exactly grabbed a weapon that was lying at my feet and held it quick quietly. Exactly. Good move. I decided to hide behind the crates. I waited right next to the door looking for a chance to attack. Okay, fuck it, just attack. Look at the weapon, no backing down now. If he comes in here, let's, let's fucking smoke him. I stood close to the wall next to the door. 
and waited with bated breath. Parted breath? Bated breath? Pronounce that right? After a while, I heard the doorknob rattle. It must be. Oni chan? That guy? There's no way it could be Oni chan. But if that guy's still alive, why did why would they give me the option though? Oh. Hmm. If I kick on each and I'm going to run out there and then just get fucking smoked. <laughs> uh, right, let's try on each and fuck it. It must be on each and I decided on a hunch and then lock the door. I'm dead. Bruh. Yet no fucking way. Hi there. Bro, my head is hurting me. What? How did he live? My brother's skin was stained with soot and blood. His temple was cut and blood was dripping from his left eye. <laughs> what is this, bro? How did he survive that? His clothes were frayed and damaged all over. We can't stay here any longer. Let's get out of here right now. Yeah. Oh, I call 911 from the emergency phone in the tunnel. The police told me to stay in the park nearby. Your job. Alright, let's head to the park. Okay. Okay, Dip. My brother and I rushed to the park. Okay, it's time to Dip. Dip. Just as we passed the park, we heard sirens coming from the tunnel. No, we beat the game. Thank God. Almost, almost. We beat the game. At that moment, my sister suddenly stopped and pulled my sleeve. Anishan, what happened? She looked pale and stunned, pointing at a spot in front of her. I followed her gaze. Ain't yeah, no way. How did this guy knew I was at the park? There was a public restroom, and I could see a figure from there. The figure was staring at us, as if waiting for us. Of course, he's running towards us. Oh, we we'll fight this bitch. Soon he came closer to us, laughing and chuckling. This <laughs> bitch, should he run away? No. No, as I moved it, he was still, he will catch up with me in no time. Okay. I made up my mind. I borrowed, borrowed the iron pipe she was holding and held it in front of me. Alright, let's fight this bitch. On each hand. It's okay. Step, stay back. Then I started to walk toward the enemy in front of me. Of course. Hey, long time no see. You... You hear those sirens over there. You're done for. Fuck it. I'll kill you guys and run away. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> this guy's a joker. I'll make it all in. That's good. I don't hate that kind of thing. Of course, this bitch rushing towards us. The next thing I know, the man in front of me rushes forward with the speed of a bullet. My sister, who was behind me, screaming. No way. Got the shit. <laughs> We're using lightsabers. A moment after I saw the glint of the blade reflecting the moonlight in the darkness, I swung the iron pipe as hard as I could at the enemy in front of me. The man swung at me and instantly closed the gap between us. Oh no. I reflexively ducked, but the blade scraped across my right cheek at a frightening speed and my legs trembled. I gripped my teeth and swung the iron pipe, but he dodged it all. Oh, this guy's freaking cocoa out here. Soon the man's knife and my steel pipe collided <laughs> and sparks fly from the impact surface. What's wrong with you? I guess you're so battered and bruised that you don't have any strength. Damn you monster. Of course he kicked me to the ground. I lost a close fight. And right after I dropped the iron pipe, he kicked me in the side and knocked me to the ground. The wound in my side opened up and I groaned in pain. I'm dead. The man swung his knife down to knock me unconscious. 
I gritted my teeth, teared at an, I gritted my teeth and stared at the knife as it came to me, came at me. Oh shit! The next moment, my enemy stumbled. I just slapped the shit out of him. My step picked up the arm pipe I had dropped and struck the man in the head with it. The man in front of me stumbled back, holding his head partly because she'd struck him unexpectedly. I stood up, took the iron pipe from my sister and swung it at my enemy. What? But the man easily blocked my attack with one arm? What? This guy, a monster. No way. I raised the pipe to strike him again, but he grabbed me by the chest, tripped me and knocked me to the ground. I'm back, on, I'm back to the ground. What? What happened? Stars flew into my brain, my forehead cracked open, and a warm stream of blood flowed from my temples. Damn, it's too strong. No. My sister's screeching voice resonates in my, in my almost distracted consciousness. I shook my heavy eyelids and looked in front of me to see countless lights illuminating me. My blurred vision gradually became clearer and clearer. I looked in front of me and saw a devilish man holding my sister's arm. A sharp knife was held at her throat, and behind him, several policemen were shining their flashlight lights at us. Drop your weapon! The cops were coming one after another from behind the lights, but they all had grim expressions on their faces because of the situation. Shut up! Get down on the ground! All of you! The man snarled like an animal with bloodshot eyes. No, let go of me. Don't scream. You want to be like your brother? Hey, I said get down. I'm seriously gonna kill this girl. Shit. <laughs> if the cops get down, there's finally no way to save her. But fortunately, he doesn't seem to know I'm awake. Silently, silently opening my eyes, I breathe in and out slowly. I have to do it. Right now, I'm the only one who can change the situation. I slowly stood up with my last ounce of strength. I grabbed the hand holding the knife from behind the man and released my sister. What? Oh, I didn't see that coming. Oh, the elbow. That man was still not fully grasping what was going on, so I elbowed him in the face. The man couldn't help but take a few steps back. This is my last big chance. I put all my shit into the fist and swung forward as hard as I could. Oh, that bitch shot flat to the ground. The cops waiting for the chance. Rushed in and took the guy down. Cough him, hold him down. Damn, he's tough. Get out of the way. I'll take him. Oh, the same police at 12.23 a.m. The ambulance for violation of the sword act and body. Huh? Oh, that, that, that police was actually good. On each other. Kaide. Now, you. I hugged my sister and gently rested my chin on her small shoulder. Her arms around my waist. You've been taken too far. On the each hand. I promise you, remember? I'll protect you no matter what happens. You idiot. Uh, Saying that my sister lightly punched me in the back, crying a little. That hurt. Stop it. I'm hurt right there. Thank you. Thank you for protecting protecting me. She smiled at me with tears streaming down her face. I feel her shoulders shaking as she lets out a small sob. Hot tears wet my chest. I smile faint, faintly and quietly open my mouth. Ah, yeah, I'm tired. 
最後まで諦めずに残ってくれてありがとな<笑> oh, that's it. Oh, that was nice.